Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Commodity TV and the Precious Metal Summit and we have another yeah, company here at the, at, the, at the end of day two. It happens just uh, everybody's bumping in here, but it's fantastic. Ari Sussmann, the executive chairman of Collective Mining. Ari, long time no see. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's been a long time and hopefully you saved the best for last. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, we know each other since the good old times of uh, Continental Gold, yeah. uh, which you sold successfully. Now you have a new venture. It's in Colombia. So tell us about what is the company about? We're back to the drawing board. So so, you know, we had our eye on some ideas after we sold Continental Gold and quickly put together collective mining. Mm -hmm. And um, we went back to our roots, which is early stage exploration. Mm -hmm. That's what we actually were built on. And we picked up a project portfolio in an excellent area of the country next to a, a mine named Armado. Mm -hmm. And grassroots, starting from scratch, we, we did what we do well, mm -hmm. uh, explored the ground, and that was in 2021, generated targets, mm -hmm. started drilling in 2022, mm -hmm. and we have some pretty amazing discoveries now under our belt. Yeah, exactly. I just wanted to touch on that because I saw in your presentation, which you showed me just up front, those are amazing holes, hundreds of meters with one, two, three, four, five uh, grams gold equivalent. I mean, that is outstanding. And from surface. Yes. Yeah, we've discovered a porphyry system. So mm -hmm. we recognize this area as being a porphyry, but usually the word porphyry and high grades don't go together. Not really. Yeah, yeah not really, but they yeah. can, but not yeah. too often. We have something unique, not unique, but something quite you know special happening here. We have uh, fluids from a porphyry that have deposited metal that's responsible for the copper and gold mm -hmm. portion of the system. And then we are overprinted by late stage porphyry veins. This is the last event in a porphyry system, usually these veins, most places, occur around the margins of an intrusion. So they're not really related to the main porphyry deposit. But for whatever reason in Colombia, they've completely overprinted the system. And instead of, I say the word veins, I know people are thinking, oh, narrow veins. Well, in our case, the host rock is like a, a, a puzzle matrix. Mm -hmm. And so the veins lose their form just like the porphyry fluids and it floods this matrix. And so all this is mixed together and the result is a high grade copper, gold, silver plus tungsten oh, la, la. system. Okay, wow, that sounds like a, like a real uh, prospective and rich uh, uh, ore body, I would call it. Um, so you are very close to Mamato. Why haven't they seen it? Um, Not seen that. So it's it's That's a crazy. good like it's a good question. I mean, yeah. look, you know, they've been focused on the operating that little mine mm -hmm. there. Um, you know, I don't think they really understood the the geological setting for many years mm -hmm. that they, that they had, and mm -hmm. they missed it. I don't know what else to say. I mean, they missed it. And mm -hmm. and to your good point, for you. yeah, well, look, we're <laughs> drilling hundreds of meters yeah. right from surface. Yeah. You know, at, at two three grams mm -hmm. gold equivalent per ton, mm -hmm. it's pretty special. And mm -hmm. you know, the other thing about the project. Right now in this day and age, you know, with high inflation and high interest rates, that makes it amazing is we're in great infrastructure. You drive off the Pan American Highway is like two kilometers to anywhere we drill on the property. Mm -hmm. We have uh, green energy, mm -hmm. you know, high voltage oh, run of river hydropower. Fantastic. You know, we've got skilled labor. Mm -hmm. We drive to towns. That's where we stay. We don't need to have a mining camp here in the future. And so mm -hmm. the prospects look very bright for this project. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So um, it looks very bright. What is the plan for 2024? What do you want to do there? Drill, baby, drill. Okay, so we're a <laughs> drilling company. Um, yeah. You know, we we have only scratched the surface. I mean, mm -hmm. we we look, we we generated seven targets. Okay, and the business plan wasn't is to to test all seven. We've tested six. Mm -hmm. We have assays from five mm -hmm. so far. Apollo is the big discovery, but that doesn't discount the other discoveries we've made, which are four of the five. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, mm -hmm. at Olympus, you know, just a few hundred meters north of Apollo. You know, we drilled over 300 meters at 1.1 grams per ton gold equivalent from surface, mm -hmm. right? You go four, uh, four, four and a half kilometers to the northeast, we have trap. We drilled 102 meters at one and a half grams gold, uh, grams per ton gold equivalent. That's a gold, silver, copper discovery. We're just going to start drilling that again, that follow up on that discovery hole from last year. Mm -hmm. And just very recently, we announced the northern part of the Plutus target, cut 136 meters around 1.3 grams. This doesn't happen very often in mining. You know, mining is a is a bad business, as you know. Your viewers probably know. <laughs> Pierre Lassonde estimates yeah. that the odds of uh, of making a grassroots discovery to become a mine is about one in a thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, you know, when you have one, you know you have it, and the reason you know you have it 
is because normally a mining project, the more you drill, the worse it gets. Mm -hmm. But the odd time, this is the truth, the odd time when the surprises are good, mm -hmm. that generally is indicative that you have a future mine. And that is exactly what we're seeing here. We're constantly upside surprised. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So upside surprised, that's the one thing. On the other hand, you want to drill a lot. That costs money. What is cash in the bank? We have just under 20 million US dollars wow. and we're burning about $1 million a month. So we don't need to come to the market in the current environment. Thankfully, mm -hmm. um, you know, me and my team, we've raised uh, almost a billion and a half dollars, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in the last decade. So we have access to capital if and when we need it. Super. That sounds great. Um, when do you think you might have a resource estimate? I, I think we're looking at 2025. You know, we just mm -hmm. don't know how big this is going to get. Mm -hmm. We have a goal. It's just a goal. But we, we believe we could we, we'll discover more than 10 million ounces here. Well, you know, loosely, okay. right? In the next, right. you know, yeah. we, you know, and then we have to figure out how to drill that off into mm -hmm. the various categories. What's the spacing we're going to need? How many meters? So I think 2025 is, is the goal. 2024 is growth. We're a growth company at this point. Let's see how much value we can bring out of the ground with the rig on the various targets. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make that decision to go to the next stage. Super. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. Please keep us posted. Thank you very much for that. All the best. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Ari Sussman, the executive chairman of Collective Mining. And yeah, this sounds like a real new big discovery. Uh, those drill holes are outstanding. Everything on surface and starting on surface. This is really unusual. And as Ari said, uh, porphyries tend not to be that high grade and that long. So uh, from that side, Mother Nature has done it looks like really something special here and you really should check out this wonderful company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.